good morning everyone or hello whatever time of day it is it is first thing in the morning and I am away for the weekend or just for the day in uh, Kingston Ontario and uh, I basically have the day to go thrift shopping so Dave is uh, doing a jujitsu thing in Kingston and so I came along for the ride solo I have no kids with me and so I basically looked up all the thrift stores and I'm gonna go thrifting and I'm going to take you guys along with me First stop, Family Thrift Store, The Salvation Army. army done and I got a couple things so I am debating whether I show a haul at the end of this video I think I will because I enjoy myself watching the uh, thrift with me with the hauls sorry that was hard to say but uh, anyway I'm heading on now to probably value village <laughs> Thank you. 
home now and I'm gonna share with you guys my haul. I thought I would put the two in one, the thrift with me and the haul together just so that you guys um, weren't sort of left hanging. So anyway, I'll top in with the stuff that I got from Salvation Army first. All right, so the first thing I picked up was this, I can only assume is a candle cover. Uh, it is originally from Michaels, I think, because it's the Ashland brand, which I think is um, from Michaels. Anyhow, it says Shimmer Lights. It was originally $7.99, but uh, this is it here, and I got it for $1. Next thing I picked up was uh, this book here. Even though I'm Canadian, <laughs> I got the America's Garden book. It's 50 cents. It's a green. I love a good green color. So I picked that up there to use in home decor, but also just uh, to read up on different things and different plants and all that sort of stuff. So anyhow, I've said before, I have quite a black thumb and I really want a green thumb. So maybe this book can help. Then I picked up two DVDs. They were two for the price of one. Uh, so I got them each for $1.50. And uh, the first one I picked up was Sabrina and then the next one I got for the kids and it's called Extreme Music Fun and it is a Disney one with Mickey Mouse. Then the next thing I got for the kids were these magazines. They were 10 cents a piece. I thought that was great. I know you can find all this info on Pinterest and stuff like that but sometimes you just love a good um, thing that you can have in your hand. So I got this owl magazine here and then the next one I got is a chickadee which I think is for just a little bit younger children and uh, this has had something about summer fun so I thought I could get some inspiration from that for uh, summertime for the kids because they will both be home with me and I got to keep them entertained so anyway that is that then I bought myself a belt for $1.50 this one here just a nice sort of woven I love that color of brown kind of a tanny color then I went ahead and I did buy that dress um, from the Zara dress that uh, I tried on this one here I loved it and it is so comfortable and um, the price was $3.75 and all their dresses were $7. So I think that they thought that maybe this was a shirt, just like a longer shirt, although I don't know why it is quite long. But anyway, it's priced at $3.75. Uh, I looked it over, nothing wrong with it, no broken hems or anything like that. So I think I just got a great deal on this dress. And uh, it's not really sort of a summer, spring, summer dress, but I thought I could hold on to it for the fall with some sort of dark tights. I thought this would look really nice. So anyway, I was happy to find that. And then for the kids, I got them three things and they were originally like individually priced. But when I got up to the cash, she said that you could put um, a whole bunch of kids clothes in a bag for $7. So I got all three of these things for $7. So they each work out to be $2.33 if I did my math correctly, which I did. So anyways, $2.33 a piece. I got this little dress for Miriam for the summertime. It's a Gymboree dress size four. Thought it would be great for summer. Miriam loves dresses. She's sort of on a I only wear dresses kick. So this will be good. And then to go along with those dresses, if we're going anywhere fancy, I got her this jacket here. It is a cute little sort of peacoat type dress. It's originally from Old Navy. It's size three, and although she's four, she's kind of a tiny four, so she can get away with wearing size three still. So I picked this up for her, and I thought for $2.33, this was a really good deal. Excellent condition, kind of goes in at the waist there and kind of flares out. I thought this was super cute. So I got that for her. And then for Jude, I found a Patagonia coat or what I think is a Patagonia coat. It may be the liner of a coat, but in any case, it would be great for springtime. And uh, so I picked him up this gray coat here by Patagonia and for $2.33, I think this was a pretty awesome deal. Uh, it is size eight, but it's kind of slim fitting because it may be a liner. And so this may fit him, maybe not this spring, but next spring. So I'll just tuck it away for him, but it's that nice material that uh, works well in the car, in a car seat, although now he's in a booster seat. But anyway, it's uh, going to be a great little piece for his wardrobe. So I'm happy I found that. Now I will hop into the bulk of the stuff 
which is from Valley Village. I filled up my cart. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen like a really, really full cart. And half you said, you know, go home with it. You should buy it all. But I had to be a little bit choosy because I didn't want to spend too much money. And I also didn't want to bring too much into my home. But I got a ton of stuff. So I'm just going to hop in kind of quickly and show you what I got. I might not talk too much about it because I think I just talked a lot about this stuff from uh, Salvation Army like I'm talking now. So let's get into it. Firstly, I got this thing for Jude's bedroom. It is a little board here that you can hang up on the wall. It's from the Jungle Book and it was $2.99. Then I got this tray it's a black melamine tray it's super dusty now that I look at it it was not priced oh yeah priced for three dollars and ninety nine cents so four dollars but I liked that it was a deep tray I realized I don't really have anything like this when except for the one that I did uh, in that DIY thrift makeover DIY uh, but I didn't have like a plain one like this when I was doing that tray uh, display collaboration that I did recently so anyway I found this for $3.99 and I think that this will be a good staple for home decor and I picked up this mug it was $2.99 an awesome vintagey looking mug I love those flowers I may leave this as is but I also have an idea for uh, some DIYs to sort of make Maybe uh, resell I'm not sure but anyway we'll see I might keep this as is because it's just so adorable uh, but if not I have plans to sort of add some embellishments to it um, but we'll see so anyway two dollars and ninety nine cents for that then I got this brass mirror it's a handheld mirror this is the back side and then the arm of it and uh, it was three dollars and ninety nine cents I will show you the front I don't want to sort of blind you guys but this is it here it's kind of distressed a bit so I'll have to clean it up but I was super happy to find that if only uh, to resell so I have debated whether I want to start a resale sort of shop, maybe on Etsy or something like that. Uh, but I have just been buying pieces here and there just to sort of tuck away in the event that I actually end up doing that. So that might be a resale, even though it's three dollars and ninety nine cents. Um, I haven't looked into it yet, but it just had this quality to it that I think would resell really well. Then I bought these plates for myself, or these little um, teacup saucers I guess they're called <laughs> and uh, they're in these beautiful green color although it's not really coming up green on camera there it is a beautiful minty green with a gold trim it was three dollars and 99 cents and then this one also which has a white center uh, but the beautiful sort of a bit of a darker mint green with the gold trim so I have a plate wall in my sort of office dining room and uh, I think these will be a great addition to that wall and you guys who follow me on Instagram were super excited about this little piece here I ended up picking it up I went back and forth because it is not um, a geographically accurate <laughs> currently um, globe because it's still got the USSR on there and uh, some African countries are not correct but anyway I picked that up it was seven dollars and ninety nine cents and uh, it's got this wooden base here that's all it's very dusty <laughs> but I, I think I'm gonna paint this I went back and forth in my mind thinking do I want to paint it uh, you know will that mess with its integrity but I don't like the color and if I'm gonna keep it around my house I want to sort of make it work for me so I will likely paint this base um, some color that will sort of freshen it up. Then I got two pillowcases, vintagey pillowcases. They're this pattern here. I just thought this was so sweet. And uh, I might use this just as fabric to sort of maybe make up a piece of clothing for Miriam, maybe a little nice light shirt for summertime. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm gonna keep this fabric around for when inspiration strikes. I got two of them and I will uh, keep you guys in the loop for whenever I make a project with these. Then I got one of these um, sort of uh, accordion style um, hangers and uh, it was $1.99. I don't think it's overly old it looks quite new to me uh, but I just like the style of this and I thought this would be nice to hang to sort of uh, take pictures of different things that I may want to sell and so I picked that up I thought t for two dollars it was a great price and then something else I picked up to uh, display things that I might want to sell uh, was this heavy metal um, uh, display stand for maybe jewelry or something so these things you swivel around and it's got a nice heavy base. I do not like the red, red color, so I will uh, probably spray paint this. Uh, probably maybe a warm metal tone. I love my warm metals, so maybe brassy or a bronzy color. 
and uh, I think this will be great for uh, displaying jewelry that I may want to resell and it was $2.99. Then I got two dresses for Miriam just because they were priced well. At Value Village, they have their dresses for children priced quite high, I think, like seven, eight, nine dollars. And so these two here were priced at $1.99. So I love finding when they sort of misprice things. And usually they'll price things lower if the condition is not good. But these two were marked uh, $1.99. They were in ex excellent condition. Uh, white is white, no stains. And so I got this little dress for Miriam, $1.99. So this will be great. It's size four, yeah, size four. So this will fit her anytime. And then this dress here, a little denim chambray dress uh, from Old Navy, also a dollar ninety-nine. It's got those two little zippers in the front. I thought that was so cute, and uh, the sleeves are sort of cuffed there. So my camera died there. So hopefully it doesn't look too different now. But anyway, uh, this little dress here, a dollar ninety-nine. I thought that was a great price. Last thing I picked up is quite large, so I won't really be able to show it, but I'll sort of insert an image here. Uh, it was $3.99. It's this shutter that I will be most likely painting and give a pretty makeover to. I think I'll use this probably on my front porch as I decorate it for spring and summer. And uh, yeah, there were two of them and I debated getting both, but I just got one. So anyway, I left the other one for someone else there who wants to use it for inspiration. So there you have it. I hope that you got guys enjoyed this super long video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed to my channel you'd like to see more videos from me I have another thrift haul believe it or not coming up uh, from stuff that I thrifted a couple weeks ago but I just haven't got it up yet so if you want to see that make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss it and we will see you guys in the next one bye